Let's learn how to maintain the drive and waste fluids on the MagPix instrument. The MagPix has a built-in compartment to hold a single-use disposable drive fluid container and a reusable waste fluid container. Internal sensors monitor the fullness of the waste fluid container and the emptiness of the drive fluid container. Users should monitor fluid levels to prevent sample interruption. Exponent software allows for setting up alerts to warn about unacceptable fluid levels. See the user manual for instructions. Let's go through the steps to maintain the drive and waste fluids. We will begin with replacing the drive fluid. First, remove the seal from the new drive fluid container. Remove the tube and plug from the old drive fluid container on the left side of the fluid compartment and take out the container. Insert the new drive fluid container partway into the fluid compartment. Connect the tube and plug to the opening on the top of the new drive fluid container. Ensure the plug on the top of the drive fluid container is securely attached and free of salt deposits. Whenever the waste fluid container is full, empty and replace it with a dry waste container. First, disconnect the orange waste fluid line from the waste fluid container on the right and remove the container. Insert a dry waste fluid container into the fluid compartment and connect the orange waste fluid line. Note, make sure the replacement waste fluid container is completely dry, with no condensation. Otherwise, the empty container will continue to trigger a waste bottle full message. To drain the waste fluid, unscrew the cap on top of the waste container. Allow the container to dry completely before reusing it. Warning, waste fluid will contain any biohazardous agents introduced into the system depending on the assays that are run on the system. Dispose of waste fluid following appropriate biosafety procedures using personal protective equipment. For more support information and videos, please visit www.luminexcorp.com.